switch to um, Mr. Coolidge. Um, could you talk for a moment more about uh, some quality of life issues in your community? When you've got a single mother who can drive down to a coal mine and run a coal truck that is as big as a building uh, and make a fabulous liv livable wage job while her kids are in some of the finest public schools in, the, in America, um, what does that do for Campbell County? What does that do for the average American single mom? What will that do for the average member of the Crow tribe if they get their mind going? Uh, thank you. It's a very good question. You know, that's what, um, that's the beautiful thing about, about Gillette, Wyoming. When I moved there, I wasn't too excited about the prospect of, of living there because, quite frankly, it had the reputation uh, of, of any boom town and uh, thought I'd spend a couple years there and move on. And, and quite frankly, everybody that lives there has that same story. And, and uh, it's a wonderful community. Um, because of the revenues we have there, we've got a great school system. We've got um, the ability for, for all residents of the county to uh, not only have a good paying job, but also uh, experience the benefits of, of what local government can provide because of the tax revenues. We just recently completed a $52 million rec center in cooperation with the uh, school district. We've, uh, we've just recently completed a $44 million um, multi-events facility, and the list goes on and on. We've been able to replace all of our infrastructure and uh, provide all these quality of life things for our residents. And, and you know, I, I often tell the story, we, we do pride ourselves in, in uh, Campbell County and in the whole state of Wyoming as, as being ultra conservative and, and uh, staunch Republicans. But I often joke, and, and, and it's tongue in cheek, but, uh, you know, quite frankly, in Campbell County, Wyoming, we're almost socialistic with, uh, with the things that we do for our citizens and uh, the expectations that are there with our, with our human service agencies, whether it be the Senior, Center, Senior Citizen Center or uh, our homeless shelter, and the list goes on and on. So it just it, it makes for a great place to live. Could you talk for a little bit about carbon capture activities in Wyoming? I'd love to, uh, and actually I was disappointed that that uh, question was, was directed to my colleague because I had uh, things to say about that, and, and granted, uh, Mr. Huffman, we, we in Wyoming don't uh, have a commercial uh, capture and sequestration going on either, but we have taken the necessary steps. We, we pride ourselves in Wyoming as being proactive, and if we feel like there's, there's uh, problems that exist or regulations coming down the pike, we... Uh, take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and, and, and deal with it. And we've been very proactive in our, uh, in our state legislature with our carbon capture um, legislation and, and the, sequ the whole sequestration issue and, and uh, mineral ownership and storage and those types of things. But, but truth be known, uh, it goes beyond just sequestration. We, we actually have a huge benefit from carbon dioxide in Wyoming and otherwise referred to as CO2. Uh, we utilize CO2 for tertiary recovery projects, and uh, it's, uh, we pump that CO2 into the, the hydrocarbon, the oil-bearing formation, and, and uh, realize great returns from that, from that tertiary recovery. As a matter of fact, the, um, the, um, near the Naval Petroleum Reserve, the old teapot dome we all know so much about, the um, Salt Creek oil field, which is still the largest um, sweet oil field in the continental U.S., and... Uh, that production has almost tripled in the last 10 years because of, of CO2. So uh, our, our, our answer to CO2 is send us more. We can use all of it and we can, uh, we can do good things with it. Um, quick question for Ms. Uh, Hutzler about an announcement uh, just made regarding Pennsylvania power plants closing because of the EPA regulations. Uh, yes, First Energy Corporation um, is closing two of their coal-fired power plants, and that's 10 percent of their capacity. And it's going to affect 380 employees, and that's due to EPA regulations. Thank you. And Mr. Chairman, yield back. 